All right, so I'm gonna go say what's up to this other guy, check out his really cool project. But first I wanna do a pre-flight check. So even though I'm only driving from here to over there, I still wanna make sure I'm doing a proper pre-flight. Uh, so I already kind of started. We gotta make sure we take off these things, remove before flight. Obviously gotta take off the tie downs. Hard to do with one hand. Yeah, one of the things I hate about this is the placement of this pitot tube in the tie down. It's, they're always in the way of each other, I feel like, but it's all right. We'll just make sure. I actually really don't need to remove this because I'm, not, again, not gonna be flying, but it's good practice. Make sure, move these guys out of the way there. So I always like to check all my flight controls, make sure they have full range of motion. Check my flaps, feels good. And I'm always just inspecting everything, just checking the leading edges here. Making sure there's no resistance there. I already checked this earlier. Make sure it's hitting on the stops. Make sure it's hitting on the stops there. Gotta undo this tie down as well. pretty cool I made some friends so usually a lot of aircraft guys aren't really big fans of my plane so it's always really cool when you meet another aircraft guy that is like you know what he's like it's not something I would fly but I'm down for it you know it's experimental aviation at its finest um, but you know it's at the end of the day I think what's important I saw someone commented on Cletus's video uh, on Instagram and the guy was like oh can't wait to read the NTSB report or something like that and the truth is you know there may be something like that that happens um, it's it's not even just my airplane just aircraft in general there's a lot of times where people crash I mean they're, they're hold on guys I messed up It's in my pocket. There, there it is. I'm looking for something that was in my pocket the whole time. I read about general aviation. Um, that looks good. That looks really good. So I read about general aviation crashes all the time or emergency landings. And a lot of times those are all aviation airplanes. They're not even auto engines or anything. You know, but nobody really wants to talk about that. They all just want to say, they want to talk about, oh, this one's way up in here. Yeah, that one's nice, really good, okay. So they want to talk about, you know, the few crashes that automotive engines have had. And I will admit, like, if you look at probably and I actually really don't know. I haven't run the statistics on this yet. But if you look at all of the automotive crashes versus aviation crashes, and when I say automotive, I mean automotive airplanes or automotive aircraft airplanes. So um, if you look at all of them, you'll see like, I don't know what I'm saying. Just cut that all out. Cold start. All right, let's see if we can get a good cold start. Hope it comes out on the audio. All right, so last time this fell over. Hopefully uh, we don't fall this time. Decatur Tower, radio check. Decatur traffic, experimental 577 Alpha Zulu, taxiing over to the GA hangars via the uh, FBO. Decatur traffic.
All right, guys, so at this point, I went and checked out my buddy's project. I only filmed a little bit of it. I didn't know how much of a video I could make. I didn't want to impose too much. Uh, I did get a short video that I posted on my shorts actually kind of funny It was a short video and I posted it on my shorts So if you want to see what that really cool project was definitely go check it out on my youtube shorts It's another automotive conversion uh, RV 6 airplane RV 6 or RV 7. I can't remember. I think it was an RV 6 but super cool project I cannot wait to see him flying it. So now uh, I had brought my plane back parked it strapped it down and i'm just putting the cowling back on after completing the coil pack the what else what all did we re we replace the coil pack we have replaced the spark plugs the um spark plug wires and the map sensor hoping that that would fix our issue so let's get the cowling put back on and here we go all right guys um i'm gonna just do a startup sequence. Not going to do any flying today. Just going to uh, start it up, do a little bit of data logging. And um, I want to go find out where this wash bay is at. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing is I install my iPads. All right, so now we got to turn the batteries on. Uh, oh, that's the other thing we want to do here is plug in the old laptop here. Make sure we get connected to our HP tuners. All right, so now we're going to turn on that. I guess we'll go ahead and turn that on too. Sometimes that takes a minute. Let's make sure we are connected to the vehicle. So gathering vehicle information, scan, scan, scan. And now we are connected. So we will start. Okay. All right, now we are going to start scan. Okay. So that is going. Pull the throttle. I usually do like one or two turns right there. And we're gonna put on the headset. Okay, let's turn our fuel pumps on. It's gonna be loud. Clear prop! Okay guys, so that's just about going to end the video. I know it was very anticlimactic. Uh, basically what I did from here was I data logged and worked with my tuner, Matt, to kind of figure out why the plane was running a little bit oddly and more to come on that in the next video. But for now, here's an overlay of some of the data and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and feel free to leave some feedback on how I can make these videos better. I'm just getting in the swing of trying to make some content for you guys while also working on the plane, which I'm not really used to. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.